The Ledger company is officially the shit on themselves. I really can't believe that this is real, just listening what they say. And by the way, if there is, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying like, oh, I'm sure this will be hacked in the next 12 months. Okay, but let's see. What? Let's see? So you want to put at risk your customers' phones to take tests of your security? Really? Let's listen for a while. I hear a lot of people saying like, oh, this is not what your customers want. Actually, this is what our future customers want. Hey, you know what? I don't really care about your future customers. I am your customer right now, okay? And you guys also, they're customers right now. Why we have to let them ignore this stuff? No, 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 not in that case. So many people have come to us and asked for this. Just, I don't know who need. If you are really sure on your words, 100%, let's take a word on Twitter and we're gonna see what the people really need. Just let me tell you something. We are a people and we know exactly what we want. We are living men and women and we was born free, sovereign and equal with the all rights. But unfortunately, most of us were enslaved by banks and the big corporations. For now is exactly the time to say enough, enough and enough. We, a people, don't want to let the banks or governments to put their hands to our freedom. If someone forgot, the main idea of crypto was to avoid the banks and the government control. We are a people, we are creating actually all the laws, all the legislations, and the governments who are in charge, they have mission to make for us a better life. Of course, we know the Mika is coming out in Europe and uh, by coincidence, exactly at this time, Ledger has issued his new recovery policy because of new legislation. I tell you again, we are the people we are making the legislation. We have power to choose what is good or what is bad for us. The most important question is, what is the difference now between you guys from Ledger and the big financial monsters like Fidelity? For example, they offers a custody service on which your funds can be taken away from you at any time. And uh, if someone forgot again that if you not control your private case, you do not own your crypto. Just write it down somewhere. What I don't really understand is, uh, you know, the toxicity always uh, when we discuss such issues. I recommend you not to use the service if you don't want to use the service. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. No, you can recommend it when you provide a free services, but the Ledger device is not free. We're paying money for that. Okay, I'm agreed to don't use your services. Just give me the money back. You see the hashtag, place it everywhere. In 2020 was a data leak from you. What do you guys talking about? All this data contain a personal information such as phone number, addresses, name and surname. And how do you want me to trust you? My legal data such as such as driving license or passport or any other documents. Okay, it's fair to say that it's not mandatory, okay? It's not mandatory. For now. You know what that means? It's not mandatory for now. And uh, for now, it's just like an option to facilitate the recovery process in case of any incident. Uh, in the first point, you are not forced to update your firmware on your ledger device. But how about the future? For new blockchain, for example, and uh, any other features, you will be need to update this firmware. So this is a problem and cause of concern. By the way, I think most of you didn't know that a new firmware can contain a backdoor and that backdoor can spit out your private key. You know why? Because the firmware is not an open source and we have no idea of the background of this infrastructure. One more concern is KYC data. As you know, the customer's data is most coveted product in the internet space. 
The big companies I spend millions of dollars to receive your data. And just imagine is a corporation like a government, any government, will offer to a larger company to sell your data for an amount much, much higher than the annual return of Ledger. How do you think? Will they sell them? I think they will. Because as we heard the chairman said, they don't really care about you guys. All what they really care about is profits, nothing else. So now I holding in my hands a useless piece of plastic on the box that I will go to throw now. And I want to ask you to don't forget to send me money back. For sure there is some people that are gonna hate me in the comments that it will say is good for our safety and uh, is building more fair society. Okay, that's your choice. Slavery is always your choice. But for the guys from the light side, I will offer to create our own custody. For more information, you can join me on Discord channel, Telegram group, Twitter, links on the description. Thank you, have a nice day.